Hi everybody, it's time for another J9's Patio Chat Check-In. It is 3.63. It is another crazy windy day in Halifax. Um, our beautiful spring day we had yesterday did not translate today, unfortunately. It was about one degree. It was pretty, actually really nice in the sun. I went out for a walk. I got out for about a four and a half K walk, but um, the wind was crazy. So we're inside again. And after I uh, upload this, after I upload this, I will upload the first of my four part series. So you'll see for the next four days, you'll see two patio chats, like I've been saying. You'll see the one I do regularly. Like I, as I said, I wanna do one every day. Um, I was gonna say live, but I'm not doing it live. I am gonna do Monday and Tuesdays live though. So I, I think I may still record one just to have it uploaded. I'll figure that out later. But essentially for today, you'll see this patio chat and then you'll see part one of the four part series. So you will, uh, I will let that be revealed. I'm not gonna tell you um, who it is, but I think you'll enjoy it. And uh, actually I just recorded that last night. So birthdays today, I missed one yesterday. It was Lena's birthday and that is Gil's mother. And Gil is a good friend of our family through my uncle Jerry. So I hope that your mom had a wonderful birthday yesterday. Today, it is Barbara O'Quinn's birthday. She's part of my Newfoundland family. So Barbara, I hope you're having a good birthday. It's Mike Malloy's birthday. And Mike and I met at York University, but we're actually both here in Halifax now. So Mike, I hope you're having a great day. It's Gene Cito's birthday. Almost positive he's not watching. That is my uh, ex's Ray, his brother. But hey, I hope you're having a great birthday if you happen to see this. And it is Corey's birthday, and Corey is Robin's husband. And I know Robin and Corey from Toronto. Uh, Robin and I work together at, um, oh my God, Job Connect. You worked on something different though. We worked in Scarborough together. Um, anyway, I've, I've known Robin for a long time, and she has family here in Nova Scotia. So I hope Corey is having a great birthday. I think those were all my birthdays. So I got to body pump this morning at 9 a.m., which for me is a big thing I'm not. I know for a lot of people that's not morning, but for me, I start at nine. So on the weekends, um, I may be up, but I don't, you know, I'm not up really doing active things by nine o'clock. I kind of like to relax. I might have some tea. I might read um, in bed for a little bit, you know, weekend things. But today I went to body pump, so I'm proud of that. So a year ago today, and uh, we'll, you'll hear a little bit about this on the series, um, I was told to bring a laptop home from work um, and I didn't tell this story and I know you've heard it before, but I, yeah, I was at work and they had sent out a note later in the day telling people, um, it was March 13th, of course, 2020, telling people, it was a Friday, telling people to take, um, their laptops home or their computers home if they were still at work. And so I was, and I did, and I just had a feeling, you know, that something was coming, something big was coming. And I decided to go to East of Grafton and I invited my friends and it was a miserable night. It was torrential rain. And unfortunately, uh, well, I shouldn't say unfortunately, but Paul and Anita wanted to stay in, which was understandable because it was crappy out, but I was going there right from work. So I went to East to Grafton and I stayed for a long time. I don't know, there, were, there was a couple of women sitting next to me and we were kind of talking about what we thought might happen. And while I was there, the cast of Calendar Girls from Neptune Theater came over and they had made the decision that they weren't gonna go forward with the uh, performances. And I actually had tickets to Calendar Girls that had been gifted to me as part of a dog sitting gig that was coming up because Paul and Anita were going to Cuba. So Calendar Girls didn't happen, of course. Uh, well, I didn't get there. They did have a few performances. And unfortunately, Paul and Anita didn't get to Cuba either. But Anyway, you know where we are now. Um, I did include some other things, so I won't go through everything we talked about on the, uh, the little special I did, but um, that was a year ago today. So here we are, and I wore my Stay the Blazes home shirt, and I can never, after a year, almost a year of doing this, you think I would know all the camera angles and how much of my shirt is gonna be in here, but my friend Heather Patterson made this shirt. So you'll see it again because I'm trying to remember and I will look it up when that became a thing. So we were obviously, this was early times, so it wasn't yet. Stay the Blazes Home wasn't quite a thing yet um, because we hadn't been ordered to stay the Blazes Home. But anyway, I just thought it'd be cool to wear this shirt today. 
So for this evening, I think I'll listen to the Eagles game. Uh, the Eagles are at home tonight playing Charlottetown. So nice to see some hockey uh, still on the go. Um, I'm sure there's something else. I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. So I'm really excited for you to all see the first part of the series and then watch the other three uh, interviews I did. So take good care of yourselves. Take good care of others. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.